Somebody take this video and send it to the Don't Mexican. tell them that. Don't tell them that, man, because they already want to take it. Video and send it to the Mexican moms. Uh, if you was been if you was been in Vida's team, coach, what would how would you how would you go about getting that Canelo fight? If you know that's the fight that your guy really wants. I write his wife a love letter. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> If you if you don't want to fuck me after that, she better quit his ass. <laughs> Write his wife a love letter. Coach, so you gonna see, so you ain't trying to fight. You trying you trying you trying to take it to the full extent. Hey, if you don't want to fight after that, something wrong. Damn. Every night I gotta fight to prove my love. <laughs> I hear that in the inbox. Damn, you want DM her? Uh, whisper toy, hey, baby. What color panties you wearing tonight? <laughs> as soon as he tell his ass, he supposed to get ready. He supposed to get going to the motherfucking gym to train. <laughs> yeah, coach, you crazy? He crazy as hell with that one, but that might get him to fight. That might get the fight. <laughs> Hit in the DM. Uh, Benavidez has been been mandatory for three years. He ain't gonna do nothing else. He ain't gotta do nothing else. Yeah, I agree. <clears throat> I agree. But hey, Ant, if you was Benavidez, if you was part of Benavidez's team, what would be your route to get the Canelo fight? <sighs> don't say you're going to write a love song. I know no, you be hell doing, no. you doing no, music. No, no, no. Don't, don't write a love song. <laughs> I know love song. I don't, I don't know. There's nothing else you can do. You just got to just chase him down and be on what's that. First off, they got to be on, on, on his case. What's my guy's name? Mauricio Suleiman. You got to be on his case. Like Lou DiBello was doing for Sergio Martinez when they were trying to get that uh, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. fight. Mm -hmm. It was popping up at every WBC convention. My guy's been the mandatory for the last however many years. They made a whole documentary and everything. The whole documentary. They just trying to chase him down, trying to get that fight happening. So maybe do something like that. Just pop up everywhere. Might even have to go to Shannon Briggs, right? Remember what he was doing with Klitschko? Klitschko was out having having lunch with his with his lady, start eating food off his plate, <laughs> drinking his water. You might have to antagonize. You might have to do something, or you just let it go. I like what David Benavidez is doing, though. He's going going ahead. He's supposed to be fighting Vazdek and then fighting the winner of uh, Bavol and Better BF in the event that. You know, he wins against Vazek. So I like what he's doing. He's not waiting around. Definitely can't do that. I think he's going to intercept all of Canelo's possible opponents in the future. That way he got him in the corner. You know, I hope, I, I hope he still write the love letter, though. I hope he's still DMing. Hey, that, do it all, man. D, that, all of the above. The fight, that DM. Hell yeah. Do it all. Benavidez got to hit Canelo with the I'm more Mexican than you. Ooh. Man, let's do it all. I like that DM joint, but I like, um who who that was? Who that was that used to pop up everywhere? It was Muhammad Ali versus somebody. I and think Muhammad, it was Muhammad Ali versus was it Liston or Joe Frazier, one of them? I think it's Liston. Yeah, when he, he, when he moved on his block or something, or, you know what I mean? He was on Went his, to his gym. Yeah, like you know what I mean? Like that's I know he did move to Philadelphia for a while when Joe Frazier was there for sure. Because I was reading uh, that Smoking Joe, that biography, mm -hmm. and they talked about that. Like he was popping up every 